I filmed your first three dates with Susie Cream Cheese and sat down and did an analysis. I can tell you every problem you're going to have 20 years into your marriage to this person, but we don't pay attention. Every sign you will ever need for the problems you'll have in this relationship is there in the first three dates. It's actually there in the first three hours, but in the first three dates. Every problem. We start moving to hope. It's going to get better. This will be better. Well, she's just insecure right now because of this. It could get better. You're absolutely right, but not without some form of intervention. Because mm. you look at, if you look at the same video back of the three dates and you look at yourself and you go, well, here's where my behavior can suck. And here's what was a warning sign for anybody getting in a relationship with me. And then I go, okay, well, do you want to do anything about it? No, I'm okay with it. All right. Well, this will be the problem you're going to have for the next 25, 35 years, whatever it is. Or you could do something about that. Do you want to do that? Yeah. I don't want to be that person in a relationship. All right, great. Because in a relationship, you're likely to get lazy. And the person you've attracted to you, and this is important, not just as a romantic partner, but as a business partner, as a friend, is going to show up for you in direct relationship to the disharmony you have with your parents. The people you're going to attract into your life, romantically or otherwise, are going to show up in, di in direct proportion to the disharmony you have with your parents. What does that mean? What you needed from your dad and you couldn't get, or what you needed from your mom and you couldn't get, or couldn't get enough of, is, is going to show up in the person you attract into your life, yeah. i.e. romantically or otherwise. And that person is going to show up in one of two forms. So the mesh together of mom and dad and the characteristics. Yeah. First form is they're going to show up offering you exactly what it is you needed that you couldn't get from your parents. And the level of incongruence, disharmony you have with that, meaning how uncomfortable you are with somebody giving you exactly what you wanted, you'll push it away and complain about it. Yeah. So, i.e., if I needed lots of affection from my parents when I was a kid and they never gave it to me, and now I'm dating somebody who's very affectionate to me, I'm like, can, hell, can you just like, you know, it was really nice in the first three months, but now it's like, feel, feels like you're all over me all the time. Can you stop touching? <laughs> so you're pushing away the very thing you needed. Or... You'll find a partner who is very much like your parents, if that's what you needed. I'm just using touch as the example, who's not very touchy. Just like, you know, that's what you need when you were a kid and your parents couldn't give it to you. So you find a partner who can't give it to you. And then you will spend your entire relationship trying to get them to give it to you. So obviously to heal that has got nothing to do with changing your mom, changing your dad, changing your girlfriend, changing your boyfriend, changing your best mate, changing your business partners. It's none of that. Hmm. That's to be, what am I doing? That's generating this because I'm creating states of disharmony all the time that are just there to make me aware this is the shit I'm dealing with or not dealing with.